Value for money is just so relative, isn't it? For so long now, I've delayed upgrading my main video tripod because the one I had did the job okay. And to buy something that was a significant upgrade, it just, the options seemed really expensive and my priorities seemed to lie elsewhere with gear that costed more. Enter the Saray SVS-75. It's a highly specced, relatively low priced, single stage video tripod inspired by the groundbreaking Sattler Flotec series, although Saray won't ever admit it. I've paired it with Saray's SVH15 video head, which is absolutely the obvious choice. So in actual fact, I'm reviewing two products in this video. So I wanna go through my experience of using it in the real world. I wanna check out the build quality, the features, and then just kind of, I guess, relay uh, my honest opinion and hopefully it'll help you. I've timestamped everything in this video so you can just skip ahead if you want to, uh, no trouble at all. I'm also on the long winding path to 100,000 subscribers and it would really make my day if you could take a second to hit that subscribe button just below and um, you know I, I thank you in advance, it means a lot to me. This video is also not sponsored in any way, I bought this with my own cash and Saray have no idea that I'm making it. Um, however, these videos are made possible by my Patreon backers. Any funds from Patreon I put back into the channel to buy gear, and then I review gear and then give that gear away to my backers. If that's of interest, it's inexpensive and really helps the channel. All the details are below. Onward. So kicking off with the features of the SVS 75, and the best way to do that, I think, is to give you a little guided tour. It's a single stage design, meaning there's only one clip per leg to release them, and this is considered quite a desirable feature. There's a handle which you can attach and contains an Allen key. There are rubber feet that detach to reveal spikes and a mid-level spreader, again, a desirable feature, which attaches quickly. The SVH15 head is very chunky and has plenty of dials for just dialing in the feel that you prefer, but more on all of these features in just a bit. It goes as tall as this to as low as this. Weight-wise, it's 7.8 kilos, which is a little on the heavy side versus uh, other single-stage design tripods, which I will show you in just a bit. But the weight for this, in my opinion, is completely livable. And uh, in terms of the weight that it can take in total, it can take up to 25 kilos. So really, there's not really many rigs out there that you know it can't hold. Now on Saray's website, they talk about the counterbalance and how this head can only balance rigs between four and 15 kilos. And that's true, but I'd say don't let that put you off if you're using lighter rigs, because with this tripod, your rig can grow and it might well be the last tripod you'll ever need. In the meantime, you could always use a lighter head for balancing lighter rigs, but personally, I just love the way the SVH15 head feels to operate. And really, for me personally, the way that I like to shoot, I don't necessarily need it to be completely perfectly balanced all the time anyway, so that's absolutely fine. Let me show you what you get in the case. So here it is, you get a nice big case with the SVS 75 and it's decent. It's padded and feels sturdy with a chunky zip, handles across the front and at the top and bottom. Of course, you get the legs and head, two handles for the head, of which I prefer just using one, a mid-level spreader and a load of Allen keys. With all of these bits, it would have been kind of nice to have separators. The case is big enough, I'd say there's room for that. There's also not a ton of support inside the case, just a strap for the tripod. And something else to say is that with the weight of this tripod, and the style of the bag with the top handle, it really feels like it wants to be a roller type case. And you know what, I, every time I use it now, every time I pack it away or lug it somewhere, I think that, you know, why is this not a roller case? Moving on now to the build quality. And it's made from carbon fiber and aluminum alloy, which is up to 30 times stronger than standard aluminum. You don't get these Sackler Flotec style clip release like the previous SVT 75 model. That was only briefly on the market had. I suspect some toes were stepped on from a design perspective. However, the new twist release clips work really well they feel really sturdy, but you can twist them quite a bit without knowing if you've reached the point where they've released the leg. And I think I would have preferred it to hear a definite click when you're twisting the releases. 
The feet are nice and rubbery and detach to reveal spikes should you need them. The spreader is well designed, it's easy enough to pop in place and maybe it's psychosomatic, but to me, instantly makes it feel more solid. I should also talk a bit about the SVH15 head, which is exceptionally beefy and sturdy. It has a really great quick camera release system. Removing the head is also a breeze, plus you can unscrew it if you need a flat base option for accessories such as sliders. That quick release plate is actually compatible with some of DJI's gimbals, which sounds great on paper, but in reality, I prefer a more built up rig when I'm on a tripod, which has a cage, matte box, microphone, filters, and when switching to a gimbal, I like to shed as much of that weight as possible. And for me, this makes the compatibility less relevant. Next onto the user experience side of things, and so far I have loved using this, both on jobs and here in my humble studio. It's just so fast and easy to operate and set up and pack down and it's, that's compared to kind of other uh, two-stage regular tripod legs. Um, and it's been kind of game-changing. The optional handle that you can attach, I just love. I use it all the time and it's a nice thoughtful touch. I have a couple of user experience negatives to speak of. Firstly, the weight is a consideration with this one. It's not a tripod that personally I would want to go hiking with or anything like that. And I suppose I just wish it was a little closer to uh, in weight to the other single stage tripods that I'm gonna mention in just a bit. Lastly, Saray's website talk about how these twist lock mechanisms uh, mean that you don't pinch your fingers when operating them and honestly, I beg to differ. If the legs are too squished together, your fingers do get pinched against the head quick release. I've had it happen to me a few times and it's fine, you just have to make sure the legs are slightly open before you release them. Next onto value for money and alternatives and to find good alternatives, we should be looking at video centric tripods, which are single stage. They're made from really modern lightweight materials. They come with a beefy video based head and have a mid-level spreader. I've picked two, and firstly, there's the obvious choice of the OG, the Sackler Flotec 75, with their Active 8 head. Now this comes in at quite a bit less weight-wise at 6.4 kilos, but quite a bit more in terms of cash at over three grand. I think it's fair to say it's a better product, but it absolutely should be. It's very slick to use, and amazingly, even with a fairly high price, is also considered a bargain. And then we have the Manfrotto 635 Fast Single Leg Carbon with their Nitrotech 608 series head. Weight-wise, this comes in at even less, at 5.6 kilos. That's really nothing for a rig like this. And price-wise, it's about 1,400. I was really impressed with this combo. It's really lightweight. It feels convenient and slick to use. It shares the same twist lock design to extend the legs as the Saray which is really cool. It goes without saying that there are a colossal number of brands and models not represented there. And really, that's just because there aren't actually that many single stage tripods out there. I've been lucky enough to actually test both of the aforementioned two and I thought um, they were both excellent. I was really, uh, really impressed with both of them, especially the Sactila. It's just such a lovely uh, product that both of them are significantly lighter whilst having their own kind of unique, cool features that make them great. But I think it's really gonna come down to budget. If you've got the cash to burn, you'd be silly not to try out those other ones to see, you know, if you if you really like them. But also I think this really highlights what a unique uh, position the Saray is in terms of value for money. Anyway, now moving on to the pros and cons, and I'll start with the pros because I'm a glass half full kind of guy. So kicking off with the value, this thing is kind of unbeatable. I just talked about it. It'll set you back probably the equivalent of an average prime lens would and arguably will last many years longer. It has the Flotec-esque single stage design. It's so cool, so fast and easy. I love it. I'm a single stage convert. It's super sturdy and you really notice it when using movement accessories such as sliders. The build is rugged and everything feels professional quality. There's no other way to put it. Come to think of it, I actually couldn't find any plastic on it at all. So premium materials only. The SVH15 is a beautiful video head. 
said, it's buttery smooth in its movement and I highly recommend it. And then onto the cons and it is heavier versus more expensive single stage alternatives. It's not too heavy, but if weight is a consideration, then that may be something to think about. The case, it's not bad, but it's not a roller style and I would have loved it if it was. Finally, to my opinion, and I want to circle back to my first sentence of the video, value for money is so relative. This combination, it may not be a small amount of cash to buy, but dear God, it's a lot of tripod for your money. Some people may ask if it compares to the Flotex series, and um, if I'm being brutally honest, no. I mean, this is not as good a product compared to the Sactla, but considering that you can buy maybe four of these, maybe more, for the price of one Saxler Flotec and head, I think I would find that really difficult to get past. Otherwise, I feel like I've summed it up pretty well in my pros and cons. I don't know why, but I feel like there's gonna be quite a lot of scoffers and doubters about the SVS 75. God, that sounded really English, didn't it? I think due to Saray being a relatively new player in this arena, and then with the kind of outrageously low price, I can just see some people doubting and scoffing. That's fine, those people can go out and spend four times more on a Flotec and they can be safe in the knowledge that they bought the real thing. And meanwhile, you and I can feel um, quietly a little bit smug that we've got, you know, an additional two and a half-ish thousand in our back pockets. Anyway, that's it for now. I just hope you found this video interesting and entertaining. That's the most important thing with these videos, of course. Um, what did I miss? Do you agree? Do you own this? What are your thoughts? Uh, yeah, let me know. I'm in the comments as much as I can. I've now made over 300 of these videos, of which the algorithm has chosen this one for you to watch next. And the one below is my most recent upload. Until next time, let's help each other out and shoot better video. See you.